right, folks, chapter two, we're going to talk about the different drives you can put in your computer, right? So I don't have every kind of drive that you could possibly have here, but uh, we've got a good selection. Now, some of these um, I don't recommend, and some I will. So let's uh, first talk about them and then talk about their uh, uses, all right? So you got the, the big old three and a half inch hard drive okay this is mechanical drive which means it has moving parts in it right there's discs in there that move around and they read and write to it and uh, this happens to be one terabyte so it's coming different speeds 5400 7200 and there should be 10,000 out there so this guy needs um, power all right so you'll see a uh, SATA power cable which I will show you in a moment and then your uh, SATA cable so um, we'll also talk about that in a little bit. All right, and so obviously since this is 2020, we're not going to talk about the older style connectors, but uh, next in line would be your uh, your two and a half inch drive, right? So these are commonly in laptops, but uh, you can also obviously use them in a, uh, a desktop computer. And this has the same kind of connectors, okay? so. Here is your uh, SATA connector. And usually when you get a motherboard, you'll get two of these. So if you happen to have more than, uh, if you're planning on having more than two hard drives, uh, you'll need to buy extras. Then this is the uh, the SATA power. It's gonna come from your power supply, okay? Chapter one, we talked about power supplies. Next in line, okay, is gonna be your, basically your two and a half inch, um, solid state drive all right this is much faster than either one of these okay um, same type connectors as those and uh, you can uh, put quite a few of these in your computer now I've seen uh, all kinds of different sizes on these um, at least as small as 32 and I believe as big as uh, two terabyte uh, at least I, I know there's uh, one terabyte out there and that's, those come close to $100 in price. Um, so for storage, this might not be the best deal. Something like this, which we didn't talk about price. These really dropped in price. I believe you can get uh, at least two terabytes brand new for 50 bucks. Uh, shop on eBay. You can get that for uh, probably closer to $30, maybe even less. So one that we don't have in here, next in line would be your... Uh, SATA M.2 solid state, okay? Looks very similar to these guys. Uh, has probably, performance is pretty close to this, maybe a little quicker. Um, that is going to connect on your motherboard uh, where you have these M2s here. So, might as well talk about the M2s now. So, we're talking um, 8th and 9th gen motherboards here. And, uh, they pretty much, uh, at least I have not seen one that does not come with the M.2. So I uh, could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure every single 300 series motherboard out there has it. Uh, even the proprietary uh, computers like this gaming desktop here uh, has one all the way in the back there. So now this is a much faster connector uh, than what you're going to see with these guys, all right? You're going to see blazing speeds in there. So since I don't really have any SATAs here to uh, talk about, let's just jump uh, straight to the next row. So I've got at least a dozen, maybe two dozen uh, M.2 NVMEs. I've done quite a few benchmarkings. Um, I've got you know quite a few computers. So a lot of them are actually kind of occupied. And I've actually kind of laid these out in uh, order of uh, how fast they probably are. So um, all kinds of different brands you can buy from. Western Digital, Samsung, Mushkin. Um, so you've got, you've got your choice of uh, brands. There's got to be at least a dozen brands out there making these things. So along those lines, you also have differences in speeds uh, and capacity. Okay, so... Um, this one here doesn't really count. This is Intel Optane memory. Uh, however, you are able, uh, so we're not really going to talk about that, but I, I did bring that out there just to, just to show it. 
But uh, capacity of these guys, um, I've seen them uh, from 120 gigabytes up to uh, two terabytes, and uh, you know they're uh, they can be pretty pricey. All right. So now the good news is they are worth the money. All right. And uh, if I was going to design a computer, which I've done quite a few, and I will continue to do them. This is going to be your bread and butter for your operating system, okay? You want to make sure your operating system is on M.2 NVMe, okay? Not M.2 SATA, uh, because honestly, with the price difference, uh, it's not worth... Uh, <laughs> it is worth spending a little more to have NVMe versus having the uh, M.2 SATA, okay? Uh, and I apologize that we don't have one here. I'll, I'm sure I'll put one on the screen uh, so you guys can see it. But uh, so I've laid these out, kind of. So I've laid these out, kind of an uh, idea how fast they are. So when you do benchmarks on these, and uh, hopefully I'll I'll flash one on the screen for you there. Um, they show a lot as far as the uh, the read and write scores go. Okay, and there's also pretty much a sustainment that goes with them. So some of these benchmarks are kind of misleading. Uh, you get some really high scores and. Uh, you know, whether it actually uh, continues, whether it's able to sustain those speeds is another story. But, uh, all right, so um, like I said, I've got quite a few drives and I, I kind of favor Samsung. So we've uh, experimented with a few different things here. Uh, this happens to be a Western Digital. Overall, I can't honestly tell you I've been that impressed with the Western, Western Digitals. Um, you know, maybe it's just the benchmark. They're probably just as fast as Samsung, but, uh, you know, that's another story. There's a company that I have on one of my other computers that uh, I didn't feel like pulling that drive out, so Brent Rockets. Now, those are uh, really fast, and for the money, uh, you can get one terabyte uh, anywhere from, say, one, 119 to, uh, I believe, 139, uh, and that's just a heck of a deal. Now, to be honest with you, you can get away with just going with a smaller drive, okay? This is uh, basically powering your operating system. And uh, so 120 is kind of, uh, kind of a joke these days, to be honest with you. We're talking building computers 2020. I say, you know, for your OS, you need to go with at least a uh, 250, 256 gig um, NVMe, NVMe M.2 SSD, all right, uh, somewhere between that and 500, and uh, you'll be pretty happy with that. Now, these guys here, though, if you're building a gaming computer or whatever else you need storage, um, sticking with something like this, the 7200 RPM one, uh, this is the way to go for storage. So a lot of people's gaming computers, you've got your OS over on this guy, and then you've got your storage over here, okay? Or maybe you're using this. Now this, you know, are you really getting that good a deal on these? Um, when you look at the price, you can consider using this for storage. Um, it's probably not a bad way to go because it's going to be quicker than, than what you're getting here. But, uh, you know, for $100, if I can get a terabyte of this for $100, where um, I could get a... Uh, bigger one of these adding a hundred you might as well uh you know go one terabyte over here and then still have uh one of the other drives so um like i said these uh m.2 nvmes or the m.2 satas basically they come in here at an angle um almost 45 degrees in and then it snaps in, and then I don't have the screw, but you would uh, screw it in there, okay? So that is how that works. Now, going back to the other drives, uh, your SATA connectors, they're basically going to plug into uh, in a spot like that, okay? So uh, this board has up to six of those, so you can have six hard drives. There are... Um, there are other things you can do there for storage. Now, if you have a motherboard um, like this one, you only have one M.2, it would appear. Uh, there are uh, ones that have three now, I believe. I've got a couple that have two. So uh, you can also use these as storage, all right? 
and uh, that is uh, not a bad way to go. So let me pull this out. Now, since I, uh, you know, really do uh, favor the old Samsung, um, and like I was saying, so we talked about capacity, a little bit about speed. Um, you know, just talking about Samsung. Currently, I think their their fastest ones are the Samsung EVO 970. This one's a plus. The fastest one would be Pro, and they are uh, they're ungodly uh, expensive, but they uh, they do wonders for your benchmarks. Now, whether they really make your gaming any faster is another story. Uh, what you will notice with most of these faster drives are faster boot ups. Okay, um, so that's always nice. You really will not find much of anything that is going to uh, uh, lag when you are uh, inside of Windows if you have one of these guys. So pretty nice there. Now um, I have a 960 EVO Pro, which is actually faster uh, than this, I believe. So I didn't get that one out. But uh, yeah, so you've got all those different drives. Now putting the operating system on these, I've done quite a few different videos. Um, if, uh, you know, this, this video, we're trying to make it short, but, uh, you know, the operating system, you can, uh, put one on via recovery. So if you already got the OS on something like this and you want to upgrade, uh, and you have the M.2 there, you can, uh, do a recovery and put it on there. There's software that will supposedly clone those drives. That doesn't always work that well. Now, um, Samsung in, uh, Western Digital and a few other ones have their own migration software. So that is also a nice thing that you can do. Um, basically take what's on, let's say this had your OS on. So let's say your operating system was on this hard drive and you wanted to speed up your computer by putting it on one of these drives. You would be able to use their migration software uh, installed on the computer, have this installed. And uh, of course, you know, when you first put these in, sometimes the computer doesn't recognize it. Um, you've got to go down to, uh, a lot of times, uh, go down to the start thing there and do a search for a hard disk. Uh, and then it will allow you to bring this, uh, bring up a uh, program inside your computer that allows you to see the different drives on your computer. And in there, you may have to go in there and uh, format it, uh, so it can see it. Then you'll be able to, to run that software. Um, you know, it always depends on how you got that, that drive, whether it came in new or you bought it used and how those guys, uh, left the drive. So I think, uh, I think the only other thing really to talk about is the fact that these guys are super quiet, right? So we'll move all these over here. These are quiet. These have moving parts. Okay. These take forever to do read and write. These are really quick. Okay. Well, these are really quick. That one's, you know, so-so. So, there you go, folks. Hope you got something out of this. Uh, hopefully, it didn't sound like I just rambled on. But, uh, yeah, we've been uh, screwing around with these things for a while now. And uh, it's all good. But, yeah, you don't want this. You want something like that, all right? Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe.